In this video, I will show you that how you can create multiple tables with the help of PHP MyAdmin and create relations between two tables with the help of foreign keys. I already have created a new database with the name test. So let's open that database. Here I will create two tables users and contacts. So I created a users table. Now I am going to add some fields in this table so first field is id that should be primary key with the auto increment feature so when you select the auto increment it adds the primary index automatically for you so now i have added the name field and i am going to add the length of the name field because it is a bar chart that is a string and for the email, I am setting Varcher again and the length is still 255. Now I have added the date. So for the date, I am choosing the type date. Further, I want to add a default value as the current timestamp. Further, I am changing the type from date to date time. So that it could save both date and time. Now. After saving that, you can see that a new table has been created. Now I will create another table, contacts. So let's type contacts in the table name field at the bottom and click on the create button. Now we have to create the field for the ID, create a field for name. For the ID, we want to make it primary with auto increment. And for the name, we again, we want to set it as varchar with the length of 255. And for the phone, again, we need varchar type. And type is 250, uh, the length is 255. Further, we need to add the user ID. So this is the field that uh, I'm going to create a foreign key with users table. Right now, I will just create the table without creating any foreign key. I will create the foreign key on this field after creation of this table. So far now, let's submit uh, this form so that the table is created. For that, just click on the save button that would create the table for you. Okay, context table is also created. Now we have to add the foreign key on the user ID. For that, click on the relation view on the top. And now here you have to provide the uh, name for your key. You can set any name here. So I have uh, mentioned that it is a contact user ID. Now select the table where you want to create this relation and then select the column of the other table where you want to link this foreign key. After clicking on the save button, our foreign key has been created. Now we will insert some data in users table and context table. So I will insert in the users table first. So let's type name for the user and then we will type the email and then click on the go button and date would be added automatically. After that, we will insert a row in the contact table for that click on the contact table and click on the insert button and type the name and then type the phone and then in the user id field you have to select the user it is showing you the users in the drop down because now it has a foreign key relation after clicking on that if you see the list of the contacts you can see that there is a hyperlink on the user id if you click on the hyperlink it will take you to the users table so that is the benefit of having foreign key, one of the benefits. So you can easily browse the data by clicking on the foreign key and it will take you to the actual data. I hope that this video is useful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified for all of my upcoming videos. And also please like and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.